This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by lynda.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Soji Knows Best here. This is my review of the Microsoft Surface tablet. So I'm going to cover this tablet, which is the 32 gigabyte version with the touch cover. I'm going to cover the design, cover the new OS, Windows 8, the cameras, and all other stuff as well. So I'm just going to jump right into the review with the design and the hardware. So the Surface tablet is a long tablet, but still only comes in at 0.3 inches thick and weighs less than 1.5 pounds. And part of that is because it's made out of magnesium alloy, which makes this tablet very lightweight. And because it has a lot of surface area, it's not really that heavy to hold at all. Now, because of its length, it's going to be best used in landscape mode. Now, you can use it in portrait mode if you really want to, but because it is a little bit heavier than other tablets out there, that's not going to be the ideal mode to hold it in. Now, this tablet also does have a kickstand, which is going to make it a joy to use on a desk or a table setting. And the kickstand feels very sturdy enough that the tablet is not going to knock over easily. As we make our way around the tablet, on the left hand side you'll find the volume controls and also a 3.5mm headphone jack. And then also too you'll find one of the speakers and if you move to the right hand side you'll see the other speaker at the top there as well. And also on the right hand side you will find an HD video out port and also a full size USB 2.0 port which will allow you to plug in a thumb drive or even a keyboard and a mouse. So if you are going to be taking this tablet on the road you really want to, to kind of replace the laptop as much as possible especially when you're doing anything with Microsoft Office using a, 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 an actual physical mouse or an actual physical keyboard is going to to make this tablet really great for productivity. Now at the top you'll find a couple microphones and also to the power button and also one other thing under the kickstand you'll find a micro SDXC card slot that will help you expand your memory and also to to be able to transport stuff on or off the tablet. Then on the bottom you'll find the cover port which is going to be compatible with the touch or the type cover. Now the version of the Surface tablet I'm reviewing here today comes with the touch cover and I would say it does perform very well. It takes a while to get used to though. You're not really just going to pick up this thing and be very comfortable with using it because there's no feedback. It's nothing you're pressing at all. It's all by touch. But the keyboard itself is very nice. It also acts like a cover so it does protect your screen. But it has a trackpad at the bottom so you can use the mouse and that's going to be very useful in the desktop mode um, on this tablet. And also too it has all the keys there. At the top it has volume controls, playback controls, um, search button, the home button, plus all the other buttons that will help mimic a laptop experience on this tablet. Plus too, this cover is attached to the tablet via magnets and it's very strong connection. You can actually hold the tablet upside down and it will stay connected to it. Now let's talk about the display because it is a big one. This is a 10.6 inch HD display with a resolution of 1366 by 768 and has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 which means you're going to be able to watch some movies that take up the entire screen. A lot of stuff is not going to have the, the black borders on the top and the bottom. Now the display isn't a retina display. It only has 148 PPI it stands for pixels per inch but while using it I feel that everything looks very bright, has very nice contrast and the display performed very well especially when you're looking at videos and photos on it. Now taking a look at the inside of this tablet, it has an NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor alongside 2 gigabytes of RAM. It comes in 32 or 64 gigabyte memory configurations even though this version which is 32 gigabytes that I'm reviewing, only 16 gigabytes is available to the user. The other 16 is going to be taken up by system resources and the OS which is something that they should have advertised. But also you'll find the other standard things in tablets now, the accelerometer and the gyroscope but this tablet is missing GPS. And that's going to take a look at some of the footage from the cameras. Now, these cameras on this tablet are pretty poor. They're not great at all. They don't have really good quality. Now, on the front and the back, you have two 720p HD cameras. Of course, the front one's going to be used for um, Skype calls or video calls and things like that. And the rear facing camera is going to be used for the rare case that you do want to take a photo with this and not your cell phone. Uh, but the quality of the photos and the videos are just not up to par to some of the latest tablets that are out right now. So the cameras aren't that great at all. And now I'm just going to talk about the OS and the software. And this tablet is running Windows RT and it's introducing this new Metro UI. I know Microsoft isn't calling it Metro anymore, but it's going to be the Metro UI, which allows you to have this tiled interface where you can slide through with your finger and see all the different applications and different things that you have on this tablet at really at one glance very easily. So one of the things I really like with this interface are the live tiles, which you can move around and adjust yourself. But the good things about these tiles is that they, they update and refresh themselves with information depending on what type of application it is. And navigating around this OS does have a little bit of a learning curve because things are just really totally different in this version of Windows. To access the settings and different things like that in this tablet, you simply slide over from the right hand side from the bezel and it'll go to bring up these different things. You can adjust the, the settings, go to different devices that you may have hooked up to it. You have a search button, also too, you have a share button as well. Now if you go to the opposite side and slide in from the left hand side, you'll have a very nice multitasking option there. You'll see all your different open applications. You can simply just slide one over or tap on it and it'll go ahead and open up that app. Or you can go into this split screen type of multi view where you can have two applications open up at the same time so if you want to be watching a video in Hulu but also to be browsing your pictures or browsing a news application you can do that as well and you can adjust which application can have the majority of the screen now I did find a little bit of performance lag in it where it had to automatically refresh every time you move that little slider I wish that was a little bit more smoother but overall the multitasking is pretty well done 
Now you also have the option to go into the traditional desktop experience of Windows. You want to get something that's a little bit more familiar. You'll be able to add shortcuts to your desktop, adjust all the different settings, um, access the file explorer, just like you do on a regular laptop or a desktop. And Microsoft did miss the boat a little bit here because the applications in the Metro mode and also to the application just in the regular desktop mode can't really talk to each other. Like if you open an Internet Explorer in the Metro UI, it doesn't really translate over to the desktop version. And also too, if you take a picture in the Metro UI mode using the camera, it's not in your pictures folder in the desktop mode, which just makes me scratch my head. And the Surface also comes with a copy of the Microsoft Office Home and Student 2013 RT edition. Now, at the current moment, it's kind of just like a preview, so it's not the full editions, but they will be allowing you to upgrade to the full editions for absolutely free. Now, one thing to note is that this is the RT version of Windows 8 and not the Pro version. And the major difference is that this RT version that's running on the Surface tablet doesn't allow you to install any application that you want in the desktop mode. You can only use Microsoft Office and Internet Explorer and really just the apps that Microsoft approved. But the Pro version that will be coming out on another version of the Surface tablet next year will allow you to install install anything you want and really give you that traditional laptop experience. Now, speaking of applications, that's probably the worst part of this tablet is that it doesn't have as many applications, of course, as Android or iOS or some of the other platforms out there. Now, I'm not going to sit here and bash the tablet because of that, because this is a brand new tablet, brand new OS. So you have to give it some time for the app store or the marketplace, whatever they're calling it, um, to build up applications inside of it. But I will tell you, it has a lot of the popular ones from Hulu, Netflix, New York Times, and um, has a couple popular games, Angry Birds, Space, and things like that. But it still just doesn't have that amount of variety of applications that you can find from something like iOS. And Again, it has enough apps to get the job done, um, but just needs a little bit more support from third-party developers, especially when it comes to multimedia and gaming. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you with the OS, and now it's time for my overall take on this Microsoft Surface tablet. Now, first of all, I would say that the design and the hardware is pretty top-notch, some of the best out there on the market. I love the big screen. I love the fact that it is 16 by 9, and plus, too, I think everything as far as the, the, the USB port that you can use on there is a very good addition to really add a lot of flexibility to this tablet. Now, as far as the OS, I found it to be a joy to use, something different, something fresh to use, and some people said it was sluggish and stuff. I really didn't see that it was sluggish a lot. The, the, when it became sluggish, it was more like when I'm playing a game or something like that in a third-party application. But other than that, just using the OS normally, switching back and forth between the desktop mode, I'm using the multitasking. I think the tablet actually performed very well. Now, the bottom line with this tablet is what are you really expecting from? Are you expecting entertainment and multimedia and gaming and all that stuff? Well, if you are, you might want to choose another tablet like the iPad. But are you expecting a tablet that has a little bit of that, but it definitely has really good productivity um, uses because you have this, this touch keyboard. You can plug in a, a USB keyboard or USB mouse to it. Uh, very flexible because you can take stuff on and off using a USB thumb drive. And then you throw in the Microsoft Office into the fold. And I really think this tablet is really geared for people who really need to get some work done. So I think this tablet will be great among students if you want to take this thing the class take notes on and things like that but it's not going to be the best tablet to have a lot of fun with if that makes any sense as far as price it starts off at 499 dollars but that does not include the touch cover which i think a lot of people including myself thought it would just be included with every version by the way the commercials uh, portray it but if you want the touch cover with the tablet it's going to start off at 499 dollars so all in all guys i like the surface tablet is it complete is it the best tablet out there in the market does it have everything no but i think it's a really good try from microsoft and i'm interested to see what the pro version is going to bring because that's going to have a core i5 product processor more ram with four gigabytes of ram and a full version of windows 8 but for right now if you really need a tablet to get the job done plus have a little bit fun on the side i don't think it's a bad buy at all so anyway guys this bot brings the end to this video but before we leave out of here i want to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and today's sponsor is Lender.com, which is an online learning company that has over 77,000 online tutorials to help you learn how to do stuff from web design to photography to business to 3D design, all that stuff that you're trying to learn how to do, they can help you do it. And plus, they add new tutorials every single week. You throw in the fact that they have iPhone and iPad applications to help you learn on the go and they have 24-7 access and it's only 25 bucks a month. This is not a bad deal at all. And so you can try out Lender.com absolutely free for seven days since you are a soldier knows best viewer just by going to Lender.com forward slash soldier again go to lynda.com forward slash soldier all right guys again thanks for watching the video please leave a comment down below what you think about my review of this surface tablet and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later peace